everybody. How y'all doing? I'm doing all right. Although it is exceptionally hot out here. So, um, yeah, not ethereal glow. It, like lots. Anyway, so what's been going on? Got a new diagnosis. Oh, when I hurt my back, I threw my back out sitting. I was at my uh, desk here and I was filing away at some silver. An hour and a half went by and I tried to get up and I couldn't. Uh, yeah, so I'm currently sitting on a donut because hoping that helps because yeah, it's been several days since I've been able to come out and work, which ain't good. So anyway, yeah, like who does that? I do, I do. Anyway, so new diagnosis. So um, I was officially diagnosed with POTS. Um, my daughter was previously diagnosed with POTS and they believe that's what's causing her seizures. Um, uh, and we're trying to figure out how to mitigate that with her. I, knocking on wood, I don't have that problem. So, um, thank whoever. So I am very glad for that. So yeah, so I do have POTS. Um, it makes sense why I have to have copious amounts of bees. So, because uh, people with POTS don't hold on to bees. So it takes a lot of bees and uh, to keep my uh, thyroid going correctly. So yeah, so there we go. But anyway, so I'm learning to navigate that and I am, I'm really relieved to have that diagnosis because I've been able to go back and look at things that have plagued me since I was 18. And I'm like, oh, well now that makes sense, you know? And uh, one of the biggest things that makes sense now is the fact that I'm unable to process medication the way normal people do. Um, and now we know why, because that's actually a POTS thing. So um, even though there's not a whole lot I can do about it, it gives me a framework that I can now work from. Anyway, so I am learning to navigate that. Um, I do still have a video coming in two weeks um, talking about something exciting. And in the meantime, uh, this is a what I eat in a day video um, that I'm filming today. Um, you just saw me make my iced coffee. Uh, and so, yeah, so uh, enjoy. And uh, I'll catch you in two weeks. All right, so 7.30 in the morning. Um, first thing I'm having is a travel cup of coffee because I'm leaving and running errands. And so this is about a cup, uh, um, a mug and a, and a half of coffee so i put in one and a half tablespoons of this caramel pecan jordan skinny syrup and three tablespoons of this french vanilla international delight zero sugar um and that'll be the first thing i have today all right so it is 9 a.m and i am having three hard-boiled eggs and a tablespoon and a half of hellman's mayonnaise all right so it's 1 30 and i'm having lunch i'm going to have um two of these, which is going to be egg life wrap. I have some chicken um, and a little bit of coleslaw on top and the sauces. I just have a dash of this famous clucking and um, just a little bit of this Parmesan garlic. Now this is spicy, but it doesn't hurt my stomach and I love it. So I just use just a, just a sprinkling, just a, just a little dash and uh, then the clucking and yeah. So I'm gonna have uh, two of these and again, it's 1.30 for lunch. All right, so it is about 2.15. I'm having myself a nice coffee. It has the same amount of things that I had um, in my uh, morning coffee, which I did not finish. I only had about two thirds of it. Um, but this has one and a half tablespoons of the caramel pecans, Jordan skinny syrup, and three tablespoons of the coffee mate, uh, zero sugar. Um, again, I didn't finish my first coffee, but I will be finishing this one. All right, so it is six o'clock and I forgot to film what I was eating. I'm eating a um, very bloody uh, ribeye steak with a Jehu's clucking sauce. And uh, that's all I will have the rest of the day.